All right, so got this uh, smoker for Christmas, and it's brand new. Got it put together. It's all clean inside, brand new, ain't nothing in it. So, I'm gonna fire it up the first time just to get it uh, seasoned, as they say. Here, hold that. I'll let go ahead and be the camera. Right? Let's see. Start out. Let's open it up this way. This up there. Fancy doohickey. Where's the little thing? Oh, that's what it is. So it does like this where you can let it sit. Where's it set? Is it on? Is it on? Open. Yeah, let's do it wide open. Let's start. And put some charcoals in there. That's about the snake method stuff. And what up? I think I'm going to put these on here and fire them up. Let them. We want to get it pretty warm inside here, I think. It is cold. It's like 45 degrees today. And I'm just kind of getting this thing to break in. Get the first little bit going here. There we go. Put a little truckle fire on there. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to smoke anything. Go. That ought to be plenty. Side of it. Just got a thing in there, so your bucket of water goes in there. So let me get some water. Let me put some water in there. Water. Cold and heating up. Let's see, I got the water hose disconnected right now. That's fine. Those are heating up good. That's where they start to change color. And we'll pour some water down in there. And then we're gonna see what we get out of this. That's the cameraman running off. <laughs> Alright. Well, let me go grab some water. And we will come back in a few minutes. So I just tried to test fit that on there to set it on. And the coals hit. I got too many coals in there. They need to be below this, I guess. So let me take this ring out. And Let's see. Let it spread out a little bit. There we go. Let's spread down some. That's probably what you want to have anyway. When you do a full smoker with something in there. Those are nice and hot. I bet that's hot. I'm not going to touch this. I'm a little smarter. I've learned in my old age. Don't touch things that are hot. Here, Basley, pick that up. Just kidding. Just don't touch it. <laughs> he started to reach for it. Let's ah. slide that off to the side. Set those pliers up there for now. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead. Here you go. Let me set this on top of there. Because I believe. Well, once I get that on, I just have to pull it back off. I don't want these to smoke. That's it. See how this works now. Oh yeah, now it sits on there nice and even. Alright, I'm gonna let that go for a minute. I'm gonna leave everything wide open. Uh, oh, look at the smoke pouring out. It's working. Smoker's smoking. How about that? And then we will see if I can get that temperature deal to move. It's slowly moving. There it goes. It's gonna build up a little heat in there and we'll see what happens. Uh, let me get that going. I'll come back and take this off in a few minutes and I'm gonna put them smoke chips on and we'll see what we get. All right, now we are going to. Uh, I got these little Walmart little salmon. Salmon, $7.58. Let me see, they ain't super thick, not too big. 
We're gonna make a something to put them in. We we'll start out with this uh, J Olive. It's a local olive oil company. This is real dark looking olive oil, and it is really good on fish. Pour a little bit of that down in there. Looks like tar. It does look like tar. Um, we're gonna put some sea salt. I don't know, about five, six, seven, whatever. A few little spins of that in there. Put a little bit of regular old crushed black pepper in there. And this all while the grill's been going for about 10 minutes. Let's get up to temperature. I'm gonna put a little bit of tarragon. This is supposed to be good on fish and stuff. I'm mean, using when I cook stuff in my little toaster, it was pretty good. So put put a sprinkling of that is Okay. tarragon in there we're gonna try a sprinkling of rosemary I have no idea you know, I'm just making this up just like I do <laughs> it just looks there's a sprinkling of rosemary let's get us a little bit of oregano y'all see it's the best choice real fancy brand a little bit of oregano all right and let's see if we get this one Put us a little bit of brown sugar, a spoonful of brown sugar. Stir that around a little bit. But I heard that fish like to have some sweet. Stir that around a little bit in there. So I'll mix it up a little bit. Get some you know, sugar mixed in. Squish it down. Looks kind of thick, so let's thin it out a little bit with some Jim Bean Devil's Cut. Put a little bit of that in there. It's almost gone. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this should be our marinade. To this damn thing. <laughs> I know how you get into it. You grab a knife. Where do my good knife go? There's some scissors here. We use these scissors. I got a little board. There we go. I cut right through that thing. Get that out of the way. And now, get this is unsealed. We can open this up. And this was the skin off. So I think when I put it in a smoker, all right, I see no skin. I'm going to uh, put it on some tin foil so it doesn't stick to the rack too much. All right, there we go. Get these all nice and flipped around. Like I said, this is going to be in there for about four hours. So let's set that down in there until I get ready to leave here in a little bit. So we're going to let this soak for about an hour. At room temperature. All right, we'll be back. All right, now we're back outside. It's in about 200 degrees. I peaked a little bit, so I dropped some of that down because all that juice dripping down, it's the water dripping out, so it just comes out the top and drips down. So let's pull this thing off and take a look at our coal. Oh yeah, the coals look pretty good. I think I might put a couple more. We ain't got much heat on that side. Let's take a stick. There we go, because this is going to have to go for about four hours. Like I said, it should be enough down there. Let me grab just a couple more. It's pretty cold outside today too. It's a little bit chilly out here. I don't need a whole bunch. I don't want to get it so high that I can't put the lid back on again. Let 
go. Let's see, that ought to be, that ought to be pretty good. It's been out here about 20 minutes. Put this wood on there. Shook off this. No, no. No, it's supposed to kind of burn this down, but like I said, this is the first one to cook. I'm just doing something cheap and easy. Put the salmon on there. All right. Ooh, that's hot. Nice. All right, let's put this back up. And let that go again. Perfect. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Oh, the smoke coming out. Woo! Back on there. There we go. That drop back down. All right. I think that ought to be pretty good. I'm gonna get my little, uh, give me a little tin foil thing going for my salmon, and next I'm gonna put that on. Let's see where we're at. All right. All right. We're down about 180. Let's see. I got the, I got it barely open down there. Just a little bit. Got the top choke back. All right. Let's put these on here. See what we get. All right. Just gonna let quite a bit of heat out, but that's okay. Got my little tin foil thing set up. Yeah. One right there. I'm gonna put one right there. Let's dump a little bit of juice on these. There we go. That ought to help keep them nice and moist. Smoke them nice and slow. We got all that flavor in there. All right, put that on. Let's see. Oh, what time is it? Ah, let's look at the fingers. Yeah, ten fifty-eight. All right, so ten fifty-eight. We'll see what it does. Want to take them off? Check this top down a little bit. Maybe don't. Yeah, that ought to work right there. All right, I'm gonna choke back. Drop it down to one fifty. Pull one off. We'll see what it does. All right, we'll see you later. All right, it is 2.48. So about three hours and 45 minutes, we've dropped down to about 150. Uh, I just now opened it up all the way on the bottom. See if it'll bring that temperature up just a little bit before I decide to kick it off. Maybe open this up a little bit. Let that airflow come through. And then uh, we're gonna see what it looks like. Give it just a few more minutes, and then I'm gonna pop this thing open. It still got some pretty good smoke. Let's see, mm, it smells good too. It smells real good. All right, we are almost there. And here we go. Moment of truth. Still about the same temperature. We're 10 minutes later, a little bit over 2:59, three o'clock right now. Uh, I think that's good enough. Let's do moment of truth. Let's see what we got. Ah. Ooh, that sure smells good. Ooh, look at that. I wonder. That's still a lot of... Oh, yeah, it's nice and firm. That's cooked. Mmm. Mmm. Gotta peel a little bit. Of... Just take a little piece. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Let's see. How's it taste? Mmm. That's pretty good. I'm gonna call that success. Mmm, not bad at all. Um... Let me see here. I'm just curious what the coals look like. Yeah, this off. Yeah, let's see. Hey, that's not bad. Look at that. Oh, that's not bad. There's still quite a bit of coal left in there. That'll be good enough to burn off all the rest of this. Or maybe I'll just put this on there and let it go till I go and pick Laura up from work here in just a few minutes. Now we're letting all the heat out. So, I'm going to call that done, though. Those look delicious. Woo, very good. All right, that's it.